Okay, my dear students, once again, this is our revision UG at at home. I welcome you to our lesson number two. In this lesson, we are still looking at acids and bases, but again, we are going to understand what we call an acid in, um, in chemistry when it comes to the definition. I told you we are going to move together with our uh, revision UG laboratory. So because we say this is a new curriculum, whereby we are looking at the other, we are using new methodologies of teaching. So we shall have, we shall be having activities taking place within the laboratory and also uh, here over the screen. So in this lesson, we are going to understand what we call an acid. So an acid is a substance, uh, let us write this one. An acid is a substance uh, that when dissolved in water, uh, that when or which when dissolved in water uh, dissolved in water produces it produces hydrogen ions produces hydrogen ions as only po as only positively charged as only a uh, positively charged ions positively charged ions so meaning that when you get that acid uh, then when you get that acid and you pour it in water, then it's going to dissolve. When it dissolves in water, it's now going to produce what we call hydrogen ions, and these hydrogen ions are going to be that are going to be positively charged ions. As we said previously, uh, that we are having citric acids. Uh, then citric acids found maybe in, in uh, lemons, uh, in lemons, in uh, in. in uh, pineapples. So as you are seeing over there, when that acid is poured within the water, then inside there, that acid is going to dissolve. As it dissolves, it's going to produce hydrogen ions, and those hydrogen ions are going to be positively charged ions, only positively charged ions, as you are seeing uh, what is taking place within our laboratory. So uh, that is what we call an acid. Then all these acids here, all acids uh, they are uh, in chemist wise when you come to their formula they have to start with the letter H uh, for example I uh, will looked at um, what we call ethanoic acid ethanoic acid which is called the vinegar then that is ethanoic acid it's written as CH3 then CH uh -huh, CH and uh, then uh, CH2 then we have OOH meaning that we can uh, break this one as H then CH2 then we have CH2 then we have OH so meaning that has to start with the letter H and now this is an organic acid then we also looked at another acid which is called the methanoic acid or the formic acid like this one uh, it is written uh, like this so uh, methanoic acid ethanoic acid then we have tartaric acid and very many other organic acids as we've said so uh from here uh we, uh, after we looked at the organic acids we also said that uh, we have what we call the mineral acids then these mineral acids uh, also they start with a letter h uh, when we are writing them and we are calling them mineral acids uh, we are calling them mineral acids because we get them from the mineral salts. So the mineral salts like the salts of the chlorides, the salts of nitrates, the salts of um, uh, carbonates, then the salts of what we call um, carbonates, then the salts of what we call the sulfates there. Uh -huh. So after, uh, when you look at this chloride, uh, this chloride is going to give us an acid called hydrochloric acid. Then when you look at this nitrate, uh, then this nitrate is going to give us an acid called nitric acid. Then when you look at the um, sulfuric sulfates, then the sulfates are going to give us an acid all called the sulfuric acid. Sulfuric what? Acid. Then when you look at the carbonates, they are going to give us the carbonic acids. So examples of mineral acids, we have hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, uh, carbonic acid, and also we have others such as, uh, we have others such as, uh, we have these others such as sulfurous, uh -huh, we have sulfurous acids, mm -hmm, they are there, also we have what we call nitrous, nitrous acids, then we have also a uh, phosphor, Lake acid. Then when, come, when it comes to the um, uh, formula, let us start with 
uh, hydrochloric acid now we said it starts with h now we have hcl now this one is standing for hydrochloric acid it is standing for hydrochloric acid then when you have h no3 this is nitrate now therefore this one becomes nitric acid now when you have um, uh, when we write h2so4 now this one stands for the sulfuric acid this one is sulfuric acid now we have h2co3 now this one becomes carbonic acid yes this one becomes carbonic acid then other mineral acids we have as we said uh, these other mineral acids we have the sulfurous acid then sulfurous acid is h2so3 now this one becomes the sulfurous acid then we have h4po3 or oh, i mean a po5 now this one becomes a phosphoric acid then again this is h then again we can get another one as uh, as h NO2. Now this one becomes nitrous acid. Yes, this one becomes nitrous acid. So when you look at all these ones, we are calling them mineral, uh, mineral, mineral as acids. Sorry, we are calling them mineral acids because they are coming from mineral salts. Now, when you come back to the definition, we said we have HCl, this one hydrochloric acid. When we add it to water, it's going to dissolve. Now, when it dissolves, it's now going to produce hydrogen ions as positively charged ions. So, in remind we have HCl. Now, when we dissolve it in water, now this one is going to break to become hydrogen positively charged plus the chloride and this one is negatively charged from snow you know protons and um you know cations and anions you know those ions there so this one is the one which because which brings the acidic uh, the acidic property of all those ones that we call acids so an acid is that substance when we dissolve it in water produces hydrogen ions as positively charged ions so in this lesson it has been um a focusing on the definition the chemistry definition of an acid and we have looked at some examples of mineral acids such as hydrochloric acid nitric acid sulfuric acid carbonic acid then others are sulfurous acid uh, uh, phosphoric acid nitrous acid and we've said an acid is that substance when you dissolve it in water produces hydrogen ions as the only positively charged ions so keep up with the revision energy.com in our lesson segment number three we shall be looking at weak and strong acids please subscribe like and share new cultural lower secondary form two